Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. It's an opportunity for us to listen to the Bible together and to hear what God is saying to us today. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28. A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. It's always tragic to see someone who's drunk. They stagger along the road with no clear sense of direction, their speech is slurred, and you sense that they might fall over and hurt themselves at any moment. But there are many other, less obvious examples of a loss of self-control. Some people lack self-control in their spending or eating, and the results can be disastrous. The writer of Proverbs compares the person without self-control with a city with broken down walls, that is to say, a city that's open to attack at any time. It's completely vulnerable and the citizens are right to live in fear. Who would want to live in a city like that for a single day? The New Testament has much to say about self-control and it identifies it as one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. These fruits, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control, they all naturally grow when the Holy Spirit is in charge of our lives. They are the characteristics of a life that is lived to the full. None of the fruit can develop where there is an absence of self-control. Each of the gifts is intimately related to the others. The simple fact is that self-control can only develop when God is allowed to be in control of our lives. He is the one who enables us to find the wisdom and strength to take control and to live in line with his will. As we grow in our faith, increasing self-control enables us to be ever more effective and fruitful for God. This is something which we all need to seek, and not least because the alternative is so utterly depressing. To live like a city with broken down walls is to live a life of complete vulnerability, where you cannot relax for a moment because every day you are living under threat. Let me pray with you. Lord God, we thank you that your Holy Spirit is at work in our lives, helping us to become increasingly self-controlled. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know. You can hear it on Premier Christian Radio or Premier Gospel every morning or on podcast at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.